So guys, it's another beautiful day uh, in sunny England. Unlike the normal stereotype, we've actually got a nice amount of sun today. And I thought I'd show you from the outside of the project that I've been working on um, and show you one of the easiest jobs that you can do um, for your DIY project or self build is to actually do the installation of your double glazing yourself and the doors. Um, so the actual installation is super super easy um, It's it's probably I would say it's easier than putting together a piece of IKEA furniture um, yet it is one of the highest paid unskilled jobs that you can uh, pay for for a building project um, and so to just give you an example I was quoted four thousand pounds for the supply of the windows alone and uh, for supply and fit um, they said that they would have three guys here for one and a half days fitting the double glazing and the doors um, and it would cost six thousand seven hundred pounds so doing it yourself um, I figured if I can do it in uh, three to five days myself then there's a saving there of two thousand seven hundred pounds um, and so I gave it a go and it turned out to be one of the easiest things and the best payoffs um, of a do-it-yourself job that I've ever done. Um, literally all it is is for the doors for example, uh, very simple, you, you can talk to your uh, window supply yourself um, but for the doors um, you just need to make sure that you take 10, cent, uh, 10 millimeters off the height and 5 millimeters off the width. Um, and for the for the windows, it's it's five millimeters off the height and five millimeters off the width. Um, and for the, and for sliding doors, um, it is ten millimeters off the height again, and and ten millimeters off the width because it's such a long distance. Um, so the longer the distance, the more you want to take off. Um, and that is basically to allow for non-squareness of the the hole that you've cut out. So if it's not geometrically square, then um, for example, if your wall is slightly skewed over like that, you want to account for that um, because they, they will make the door square or whatever you're fitting into that hole square. Um, and um, if you want it to fit, if you want it to fit square and to work properly, then um, you just need to make it square. That is pretty much the only requirement you need to know about uh, fitting um, double glazing doors or windows. Um, and the the door the front door for example already comes in the frame so you don't need to hang it um, all you literally do is put packers underneath um, the door to raise it off the ground and at the sides to make sure that it's in there properly you drill through there are plenty of videos on how to actually install double glazing and i'm going to stick a link in the description for the best one that i found the one that i used um, so literally they quoted um, £2,700 for supply and um, the additional supply uh, fit sorry for the for all of these doors and windows that I've got and said it would take one and a half days it took me in the end three days including doing this sliding door myself with no help at all um, literally just balanced it in position put it in the position I needed it to because to, you can build it while it's in the frame that said, I did actually lift the windows in with one other person because they are 80 kilograms on you, those window suckers. Um, put the frame in position on the bottom, then hold it up and then stick packers in at the top and that stops it from falling. Uh, once you've done that, um, you just need to screw it in um, and make sure that it's sturdy and that it's not skewed. Um, I'm going to do a more detailed video on this um, later on, but I would 100% recommend installing your own um, double glazing windows and doors. Um, it's a very very easy job um, and I encourage you to do it and I, I wanted to make this video to motivate you um, and if you've got a project like this coming in the future then definitely account for if you've done DIY stuff in the past or done IKEA flat pack stuff or, or you think you're an advanced DIY person then um, do consider doing it because it is um, one of the easiest and best payoff jobs that you can do. Um, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye bye.